I love, love watching the, the huge, enormous difference from under 12 to under 13 to under 14. It's remarkable. What a run that is. Oh, what a run. Oh, oh. what a shot. And what a goal from a long, long distance. It's Keen Rodriguez has pulled the trigger. And Cardinal Newman go ahead. Oh, oh it is indeed. Keen Rodriguez. Absolutely stunning. Lovely drag back away from the challenge. He's away from three players, gets it out of his feet. You think he can't hit it from there, surely. The keeper makes a desperate, desperate lunge to push it away around the post. Oh, there's a nice ball through. Let's run nicely. Here's Thompson. Thompson releases oh. one. Oh, what a save that is. That was a really high class save from a goalkeeper. And this is why perhaps. Dennis Whittington is the captain of this team because he's just pulled out a, a top-class save here. That was going towards the top corner. That's my sort at the moment. Save of the tournament. Look at this. That is going in the top corner. Great save. He's Huddersfield and Brighton. Yeah, it's the first time it's happened, isn't it, in the Premier League, all three promoted sides. Oh, of course. Oh, here's an opportunity oh, from distance. Strike. Oh, and what a goal! Hits it first time. And Cardinal Hume are back in the match. It's Louis Salkeld, the captain, number 10. He wins the tackle and then hits it. And this is not an easy shot. No, here it is, the tackle. He wins it. He's the one setting the tone. Look at that oh. for a goal. Absolutely brilliant. We know what it is. Dennis Whittington's like in goal. He's no slouch. With a long kick forward. Salma tries to get on the end of that. Bond clears. Here's a pull forward. Here's an opportunity for Thompson. And the keeper's out. Thompson's got the foot. There's a bit of a battle for it. Oh, incredible. The ball is open. And it's over the line. Jack Thompson has scored for Cardinal Hume. And that really was... The will of Thompson to get that ball over the line. It looked like it may be cleared. And Cardinal Hume take the lead. There's a bit of a hopeful ball over the top. And there you go. You think it's just a formality that he puts the ball in the back of the net. You have to give the defender enormous credit for getting back. Absolutely brilliant from Patrick Williamson. You think he's going to deny Jack Thompson the opportunity to score. Cleared out well. Take two. Oh, that's a lovely cross in. Oh, oh no. and the keeper has spilled it. Oh, it's a nightmare for Cardinal Newman. And, well, was there a touch? Of the, they're all falling on the floor there in excitement. They can't believe that that's ended in the back of a goal. And I don't think Cardinal Newman can either. But it's the third goal for Cardinal Hume. And they're saying, did he head it? Did he head it? It's definitely, a, you know, is it a Harry Kane award of a goal here? <laughs> I used that joke once yesterday, didn't I? Here we go. Does he touch it? Or oh, it hits something? And oh, yeah. well, you really got to feel sorry for the goalkeeper there, Dennis Whittington. Shot of the, uh, the the fans, but Joseph Cleghorn, number five for uh, uh, Cardinal Hume. I think he needs special mention. I think he's marshaled the back line really, really well Here's as they Sol come Cole. forward again. Oh, Solcold is through. Oh, he scored a superb goal. Well, John, I think he's just sealed that for you. Well, that makes it a lot easier for me. I mean, I was going to say, you know, the fact, the number of goals that he scored in the rounds getting them here, you know, there's also a little bit of a nod that he's going to get a bit of an advantage with just how influential he really is to this team. And that was evident in looking through that stat pack of the number of goals that he scored. Gets a touch, gets another touch and gets away from the defender. And he's got one thing on his mind and what a strike. Really emphatic. That's his hat-trick. Really well did. Set up. That's a standard game. The referee will blow the whistle. And it's Cardinal Hume who take the title here. The team in purple are running onto the pitch. The coaches shake their hands below. And Cardinal Hume win this under 13 schools cup final. and fully deserved
And all the players just shaking hands out there. Really great to see. And <laughs> the coach is obviously well loved by his players as well. There's a bit of hugging going on with coaches. Great sportsmanship here between the teams. The two goalkeepers embrace. Well, I'm very pleased to say with me is the manager, Paddy Garrigan. Paddy, it's your last, as you see your team behind you, this is your last ever game as, as a coach. What a game to finish on. What are your emotions? I couldn't imagine anything like this in my wildest dreams. At the, at the start of the season, we knew we had a good side, but to get to a national final and to go in and win it, I could not have believed it. But I am so, so happy for these lads. They have been absolutely immense from start to finish throughout this season. They've played 25 games, 25 wins, and they've been... I, I can't say enough. I can't say enough. Hey kids, you've got one hell of a manager here, I'll say that. It was noticeable up in the commentary box with me and John Scales that you were, players are coming off and hugging you rather than each other at the end of the, you know, there's a lot of like uh, emotion towards you out on the pitch as well, you know, that, that must be extra special. Well, I've had two special years, you know, and I, I love the lads, you know, I love the hard work. We've been together, this is, it's, it's all about them really, but I've just been a, a pleasure to be part of it, an absolute pleasure. Yeah. And as the game for it, the game itself, you know, I thought we started very well, actually, and they scored a wonder goal. It's actually the first time in this competition we've been behind, so you wonder how you're going to react. Um, but they didn't let it affect them. They drew the way back into the game, and once we got ahead, I just thought, you know, yeah. this could be our day, and you know, they kept going throughout. You know, credit to Cardinal Newman. They were a very good side. They didn't stop battling. They were always dangerous, so we could never rest. But, yeah. you know, I think in the end... We, we deserve the win, you know, despite them being very, very good. No, I think you're absolutely right. And, and you know, the, the team, like John made the, the it gave uh, your captain the man of the match, but there was a number of players yeah. on there and he said it was very close. He was very complimentary about Cleghorn at the back yes. and the, the yeah. pace and the way he yeah. read the game. You know, and we've got to remember these are young kids out there as well. Yeah. You know, these, these, are, these are children that are playing and playing at such a high level. I mean, they're all very, very good players, but some of them are so, so mature for the years. You know, they the, the, the know the game. And I think they're only going to get better, so well done to them. This is their achievement. You know, they've been on the field doing it. I'm just stood on the sideline, so it's well done to them. Absolutely amazing. So, Paddy, how many years? Uh, 38 years of teaching, so wow. <laughs> what, a, what a way to finish. Well, ladies and gentlemen, everybody in the crowd, please, a big round of applause for Paddy Carrigan, the manager of the winning team.